So yes, this is my first time ever donating blood, and I have to say I'm a little nervous, and I'm not the only one. Was it like your first time? Any advice? Uh, I really don't think so. I, I was probably more scared than was warranted, okay. so it was refreshingly less painful and scary than <laughs> I might have set myself up for. Uh. So I thought perhaps to get some advice from David Patterson, Director of Donor Relations. Well, firstly, I would say, you know, check on the website, make sure that you uh, uh, get as many questions as you can answered before you come in. No, I didn't do that. Um, get a good night's sleep, rest. Uh, that didn't happen. Drink plenty of fluids. Oh, I had a cup of coffee. Have a meal before you come. I did that. One in four isn't that bad, right? Um, you know, we, we really do need you. Uh, currently, we have 2,000 open appointments at our clinics in BC just over the next eight weeks. So it's your first time. It's also my first time, actually. Oh, yeah. Are you nervous? I am nervous. How are you feeling? A little bit nervous, yeah. What are you kind of doing to kind of get yourself ready to donate blood? Um, I'm just trying not to think about it. I would too, but the thing is, when it comes to blood donation, there's just so much to consider because you can't make blood. It's all donated. Demand for blood remains constant. Again, every minute of every day, somebody needs blood. Uh, and the important thing to remember about blood is it's a perishable product. So red blood, we can keep for 42 days, but platelets, five days. You know, it becomes uh, increasingly difficult at times around Christmas, holiday long weekends, we have clinics open all through the holidays. We have clinics open New Year's Day to make sure that we maintain that persistent and consistent flow uh, of blood and blood products. <laughs> one in two people in Canada is able to donate, but one in 60 actually do. Why did you donate blood today? I think it's important to help out. I mean, it's, I've been told it can save people's lives, and if anybody has it you know, within themselves to be able to do that, why wouldn't you do it? I was healthy and I can do it, so that's why we did it. Now, this may be time number one for me, but there are people who have donated many more, like Cora Malloy, who has donated 100 times. Now, I've heard through the grapevine that this is your 100th time donating blood. That's a lot. What's it, how, how do you do 100 times donating blood? Uh, just being persistent. <laughs> I made a, a vow to myself when I uh, turned old enough to donate blood that I was going to do that by the time I was 65 and I beat that by five years. So. Why do you think this is such a good cause, donating blood? It saves a lot of people's lives. Uh, there would be so many more dead people, dead children, uh, without uh, one being able to help them out somehow. So it, uh, a little poke in the arm is nothing compared to what they have to do to get better and to live. I'm going to just work this All right. Yeah. Yeah. Make a fist and hold it and like that. Keep it like that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll tell you to take a deep breath soon as okay. I'm going to put it in. Okay? okay. Okay. So the blood is broken up into three main product groups. One is red blood cells, second is platelets, and the other one is plasma. And there's um, there's a variety of ways in which we use them. We're really a manufacturer of blood and blood products. So we create all sorts of products to meet the needs of Canada's healthcare system. And so we do use it in a variety of ways. Oh, you're doing very well here. Good job. How can I say I'm just such a natural at this? <laughs> That's okay. It's all right. Do, do, do. Am I done? Yes. Good Yay. job. All done. Take a deep breath there. Three finger pressure here, please. Mm -hmm. All right. Giving blood isn't exactly comfortable, especially if you're squeamish like me, but it helps. So I'm glad I did it. Give it a little wiggle. So that it works. That's good. It still works. <laughs> yeah. And here's your juice. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so I'm ready to go. Yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you. And we have a Be Nice To Me sticker. Good, yes. Everybody has to be nice to me. Well, that does it for this week's episode of Go Fraser Valley. Now, like I've always been saying, you can contact us through Facebook and Twitter, but we're also on Instagram now as well. And if you have any story ideas, you can share them with us at go underscore Fraser Valley at shaw.ca. Now, as for me, I'm drained, literally. Mm. 
stood up too quickly. Thank you.